friends. So I am back here, back with the video. I had some technical difficulties with the last one. Um, as you know, you didn't get to see Baby Cat in the video, and there are a few other things you didn't see. Um, but uh, yeah, so I think I've figured out a new method, and hopefully this uh, this works well. Also today, I am broadcasting to you from my hammock in the backyard. Look at this. I'm working from hammock, not working from home today, but it's the uh, same initials. Anyhow, I hope you all are doing really well. I miss you. I wish we were doing this in person. But that brings me to my first, uh, first little order of business today. That is, what do you think about doing a Google Meet video chat? Um, I would like to do it in like our speech groups or maybe at the classroom, depending on how many people are uh, interested in doing so. Either way, let me know and we'll put together a time to do that. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Love to see your faces. Uh, speaking of faces, beard's still growing and I haven't cut my hair yet. Uh, Miss Alba told me that uh, she will help me with that. And we have a winner uh, after quite a few votes and I think you'll, you'll get a kick out of it. Anyhow, so this week we are going to work on Selfish Pigs again. Now, it's not gonna be just like we did the last week's. Um, the first week, we just did a selfish pig. He answered the three basic questions. Last week, he did the three basic questions, but we also in, um, threw in the information about the zones regulation. So this week, we're gonna use both of those weeks, what we learned and, and worked on in both of those weeks, plus we're gonna add some to this week. So get ready. It's gonna be a little more work, but I think it should be fun. So without further ado, here is this week's picture. All right, so how funny and how pertinent was that picture? I mean, with all the hoarding that's going on right now, being a quarantine and people buying up all the toilet paper, looks like this, uh, this pig was ahead of everyone here. Anyhow, you saw the picture, so let's talk about it. First of all, our first three questions, our basic questions. First one is, who is in the picture? This is important because it tells us who this problem might be affecting. Second is, what is wrong? So what's wrong in this picture? Go ahead, give me an answer. Three, that is, what should we do about this? What should the people in the picture do or say to the pig? Now, the last couple weeks, you've just been giving me a little sentence about what the pig um, should do or what the people should say to the pig. This week, we're gonna turn it into a bit of a comic strip. So, here we go. In order to do the next part of this assignment or activity, you're going to need a few things. One, a printout of this picture. Two, scissors. Three, a piece of paper. And four, a pen or a pencil. Go ahead and gather those and start this video back up. After you've gathered your supplies, go ahead and cut the paper into little squares. You might want to cut a couple extra ones because it's easier to just start over than erase on these little pieces of paper. Next, you're gonna take two squares of paper and place them next to the people and next to the pig. You could use post-it notes here too. That might work pretty well. Anyhow, what we're going to do is we're going to write what these people are going to say to the pig and how the pig should respond. So it's gonna be kind of like the little comic blurb or speaking verb in a comic book. You're gonna write like from this guy, hey pig, blah, 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 blah. And the pig can say, oh man, blah, 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 back, all right? I'm not gonna give you answers for this one because of course I want yours. So I'm going to go choose another picture and show you how I want you to complete this. So here you go. I went ahead and wrote what I thought these people should say to the pig. I wrote, excuse me, Mr. Pig, could we please borrow an umbrella? We are getting really wet. Where the pig would say, yes, you may. I'm sorry I was using them all. Here's another example. In this one, the pig had jumped into the bucket of chicken the guys are pretty bummed because they're supposed to share it. So I wrote, excuse me, Mr. Pig, could you please get out of the bucket? We are very hungry and we're going to all share the chicken. To which the pig should say, I'm sorry, I'm so hungry, I forgot we were sharing. If you're unable to print out a picture, that's okay. You could still cut out the little pieces that we're gonna do and uh, just like put them next to the phone or next to the iPad or tape them to the computer, whatever, get creative, um, but yeah. Let's start. Once again, here's the picture. Go ahead and pause it if you need to. 
So that's it. That's the activity. Go ahead, get it done. Send me in your answers uh, in the best way possible. I'd love to see a picture taken of your comic strip. Um, that's it. All right. Adios. Wake me when you're done.